how how did we get here? How why is there even a trial going on right now? It's clear, you know, it was clear from ever since we saw that first you know bit of video footage mm-hmm. showing how the shooting occurred. Yeah, we knew it. It was probably self defense, and you know, Ben Shapiro has talked about this. You know, Ben Shapiro wait. He said, you know, I'd like to wait until I see the prosecution's case because maybe they know something we don't. Yeah, that's a novel idea, isn't yeah. it? Like yeah, waiting until. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually a case made you in know, court. Yeah. And at the Western Journal, you know, in our office, we I think generally everyone in the office was like, okay, Kyle Rinhouse is innocent. But we didn't really make any grand announcements mm-hmm. or pronouncements about it. And we we also waited to see the trial and to see the evidence. And oh, yeah. as it turned out, there was no evidence. He no. he was innocent, completely innocent. Every p- bit of evidence that the prosecution has put forward has just made the defense's case more strong. Um, and yet we have the media continuing to say that this guy is clearly guilty. Yeah. We have a montage we're going to play for you guys that is I mean with with everything we know about the Rittenhouse c- case, these claims being made by establishment media figures are shocking. So we're going to play this clip for you now. Al Rittenhouse, he murdered two people by the way. Rittenhouse is basically what you would have had in a school shooter. He's a 17-year-old kid. He shouldn't have had a gun. He crossed state lines to supposedly protect property. No, he was going out to shoot people. Kyle Rittenhouse, the 17-year-old vigilante. Kyle Rittenhouse, the vigilante. Kyle Rittenhouse, the armed teenage vigilante. A 17-year-old vigilante, arguably a domestic terrorist, picked up a rifle, drove to a different state to shoot people. Kyle Rittenhouse, (laughs) a guy who's deeply racist, went with weapons to a Black Lives Matter protest, looking to get in trouble. He did. He murdered a couple of people. Rittenhouse, uh, the 17 year old kid, just running around, shooting and killing protesters. You see the 17 year old who was radicalized by Trumpism, took his AR-15 to Kenosha and became a killer. (laughs) What? (laughs) Now, if you're following (laughs) the facts of this case, you would know that virtually every claim made in that montage was false. There's I mean, zero not- evidence for any <laughs> of it. It's it's made up. So they were calling him a vigilante. You know, uh, he just went in there. To, he just wanted to shoot people. He's a domestic terrorist. He's racist. Uh, people have called him a white supremacist. There's no, there's literally no basis for the white supremacist. Radicalized by Trump? Uh, Dude, a what? lot of big narratives. And we'll we'll get into some of these narratives about him crossing state lines and illegally uh, possessing a firearm. We're going to get into that in a little bit later. But right now, we're just going to focus on, you know, vigilante. He just went in there to shoot people. He just went in there to kill people. Um, the media has been saying that. Big tech has essentially been protecting those claims oh, from any yeah. criticism. Um, if you if you write Kyle Rittenhouse did nothing wrong or in many cases, Kyle Rittenhouse is innocent, that tweet on Twitter, that tweet will be um, suspended. Yep. You'll be told your account will be suspended. You'll be to- told that you were glorifying violence by saying that. Mm-hmm. And you are being and you'll be forced to delete that tweet. We just put out a story about that. Um, go to the Western Journal to check that out. So big tech. The media, Facebook and Twitter, have both been kind of censoring posts based on basically mm-hmm. suggesting that Rittenhouse is definitely innocent right. or definitely guilty. Um, and then the political elite, the Democrats who are in control of our government right now. Biden has repeatedly suggested that Rittenhouse is a yes. white supremacist. There is zero evidence this guy is racist. This guy has any connection to any sort of racist group, and yet they're calling him a white supremacist. They searched his phone, and the defense brought this up today. Yep. They searched Kyle Rittenhouse's phone. There was no evidence. <laughs> anything racist, no ties to white supremacy, uh, white militia groups, anything. There's zero evidence. It's made up. And let me yeah. Let me just ask, am I correct that... Neither one of the people that he killed were black. Is that correct? They're no, both that's white correct. People. All three people he shot were white. Yeah. The the first man he shot was a convicted serial pedophile, and he was yelling the N word around the time that he was. Who's shot. the racist? And I, I've, heard, <laughs> <laughs> I've heard the prosecution say, "Well, you know, that's not justification to kill somebody." Like, okay, you can say that just because somebody is a convicted criminal doesn't mean that they should be killed. That's fine. There also is the fact that this person was yelling a racist term that if Kyle Rittenhouse had been yelling it, obviously it would be all over the headlines. And right. then there's the fact that these people were charging Kyle Rittenhouse, which I'm sure we'll get into the actual yes. facts yeah. of yes, the case. Will. But there's so many reasons why these narratives are just so not and accurate. I yeah. really wanted to look at, okay, it's clear that all of these things these people are saying are completely false. They're lies. They're sure. obfuscating the truth. They're saying misleading things. Why? 
Why mm. is big tech doing this? Why is the media doing this? Why are Dems doing this? Why do they seem to be conspiring to get this innocent kid convicted of murder? <laughs>